Hey everybody, it's Hannah. Um, I'm filming a quick little haul video today. I ran over to Ulta and to the drugstore, and I just wanted to show you what goodies I picked up. Um, to give you an idea, I spent about $20 total today picking up all of these things. So it was a nice change of pace for me um, after picking up two Urban Decay palettes in the past month. Nice to spend a little bit less and get a lot of products. So I'm really excited about all of these things, and uh, I'll get started. Um, I did pick up a lot of lip products today way more than I thought I would, um, but the first two are Revlon Color Burst Lip Glosses. I know on Beauty, Beauty Forum we've talked about these a lot. I have never tried them. Um, Danielle is the main one who's been talking about them. So um, I thought that I would be a good sport and go try them. I've mentioned in the past that I'm not a gloss girl. Um, it takes a lot for me to like go try a new gloss because I'm just like, ugh, I don't know. I just... I don't wear a lot of gloss. Um, I am definitely much more of a tinted lip balm or a lipstick kind of person. So um, I picked up two though. So they were buy one get one half off, um, and they retail for about seven fifty each. So um, I got the shades Peony, and I'll swatch both of these for you. And and I'll show you the applicators are sponge tip, which is nice. Um, I. Like with the Smashbox gloss that I got, I like that it's a brush tip, except that the brush, I'm always worried about the bristles. Uh, and then I got Hot Pink, which is like a Barbie pink. I was back and forth between getting this one and Strawberry. But I ended up getting this because I was like, I don't have anything like this. And it'll be a fun shade to have this year. So these are the colors that I'm going to have to get off my hands later. <laughs> Um, yeah, I really like both of these. Peony is a really nice, like, neutral coral, and hot pink is, yeah, like, Barbie pink. Um, really pretty, both of these. Um, I feel like, look at Peony next to Tarte Deco, right? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, Peony looks, like, less coral than it is. It's got a lot of gold flex to it. Um, but it's really light. I like that. I don't know. It's not such a bright coral. It's like an understated coral. I really like the packaging here. Yeah, I'm very excited about these. Um, they're, they're soft glosses, I feel like. I, I'm not as in love with the texture as I am with the Smashbox glosses. I feel like I have never been as impressed with the gloss texture as I have been with the Smashbox glosses. So that, there's that. Um, but they're very nice. I haven't worn them for more than like five minutes. I've literally been home for 15. So, um, this is like, yeah. Yeah, I'll let you know what I really think in like a week when I've had time to wear both of them and get used to them. Um, the other lip purchase that I made at, um, Ulta, which I didn't expect to make, <laughs> was this really exciting Maybelline. This is, okay, Maybelline has these color sensational lip sticks. This is not a traditional lipstick. As you can see, the packaging is neon and see-through. Um, it comes right off and separates. And when you twist it up, it's like a see-through kind of thing. This is called... Let me see if I can get it right. Because it's like I can't even find it online. It's a Maybelline Col Color Sensational Shine Sensational um, Fruit Pop in Fruit Punch. These are so cool, you guys. If you can go find these online, and I'll try to link to other blogs that I've seen writing about these, because I've seen them on blogs since I got home and did some research about them, because I was so impressed. Um, I am currently wearing it on my lips. It's not super shiny. Um, it's like a really cool tint. This color is Fruit Punch, which is exactly what you would think it would be. It's like a red-pink, um, and it looks orange in the tube. I feel like, I'll show you against my hand, and I'll swatch it too, and it's not going to swatch well. Yeah, it's, you're not going to be able to see this, because I'm looking at it on my hands, and it's not showing up well at all, because especially next to these glosses, you're going to be like, I can't even see that. Yeah, it's right below the glosses. It's a really light tint. Um, I love, I've mentioned in the past the Bird's Bees tints, so I'm a sucker for like a tint. Um, it also smells like fruit punch, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, the packaging is neon. 
again awesome I I could not resist this I I was so on this I probably will go pick up two more they have an orange one and a bright pink one I really like this I really really like this um I am so excited to use this more I really like the way it's showing up on my lips though I have darker lips um so I don't need a lot of help with color but it's a nice tint it feels really great it's wearing well I feel like so I'm excited about this. This is a really cool product. It's a nice sheer wash of color. Really summery. But I don't feel like this color is so summery that I couldn't wear it year-round. So, yeah. Way to go Maybelline on that one. I was so excited to see that. Um, the next thing was I I could not get this at Ulta. So I ran to my um, CV, uh, or Rite Aid, I guess, um, down the street um, at my little shopping center and I got the Wet n Wild trios that I've been hoping to get. They did not have the Dreamweavers collection one that I wanted, but that's okay. Um, I have been watching a lot of Mac Dupes videos lately, um, especially Emily Noel 98 and, or, um, 83. Why did I say 98? Um, sorry. And, um, Total Makeup Junkie 101's videos are both amazing. But, um, I know Emily Noel 83 mentioned this trio in Walking on Eggshells. And I'll show you that. And I will quickly... These are really nice. I haven't used it yet, obviously. Because I'm wearing my um, Urban Decay palette today. My new one. Um, but they're really buttery. And I just feel like it's going to be... The colors are so pretty. I don't know. I haven't... Like, I looked online and I was really impressed by their selection. I almost bought four because they were buy one, get one half off in stores. I probably will go back and buy two more, but when I got there, I did feel like a lot of the trios were really similar. Okay, I haven't even opened this one yet, so you're going to have to be a little patient because <laughs> the packaging's kind of, um, but I'll show it to you. This is, um, I'm getting sunburned. Um, but yeah, the packaging, um, in the packaging they looked kind of similar, so I didn't end up getting, um, the other two that I was going to get today. So I just couldn't find two more that I wanted. I could find maybe one more, and then I was like, oh, with the buy one, go in half off, I don't know. So I might go back and get two more eventually later, but I just, I don't know. I didn't need to spend any more money than I was already spending today. Um, because every, as everyone knows, I've spent a lot this month. July has been a bad month for me. Or a good month, if you think of it in terms of my collection. Um, okay, hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to talk, and open at the same time, and I should have thought about this <laughs> before, um, see, it was a good haul today, though, I feel like I got a lot of stuff that I will use, oh my gosh, this is really hard to open, this is embarrassing, I should probably refilm this, but I'm way too lazy for that, okay, stickers are a pain, okay, opened, um, those are the three colors, and as a reward, I will swatch. Um, oh my gosh, these are so pigmented. Yeah, that's like shocking to me. Ooh, okay, I hope you can see these. Yeah, I feel like that's really pigmented for a drugstore. And that's like, okay, I love this purpley pink color. And the brown and the gold. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, so I'm really looking forward to using these and seeing how they wear. I, I cannot get over how pigmented these are. So if you haven't tried Wet n Wild, I, I just keep hearing about it. So I felt like as someone who writes a beauty blog, I just had an obligation to go and try this new brand. And honestly, I wanted to. So it's not like I'm <laughs> like, oh, I'm obligated to. But I really wanted to try it. And at two ninety nine. dollars um, for a palette with three colors in it, I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't justify not trying it, um, so, yeah, I mean, why not, and, um, for both of these with the buy one get one half off, I got it for five dollars today, so that was a great deal, so that's it that I got today, um, all for twenty dollars ish, um, so I was pretty happy, I don't know, I mean, I love getting a good deal, and um, when you go to places like Ulta and um, your drugstores, you can get a good deal. And, you know, I love my Urban Decay palettes and the things that I've gotten this month, but it's nice sometimes to be able to get things that aren't so ridiculously expensive. So, 
Um, looking forward to trying these things out. I'll let you know how things go with the Wet n Wild palettes. Um, I'm always skeptical of drugstore eyeshadows. I don't know. I've had some bad ones. I've um, like this this CoverGirl double sided um, shadow blast was like possibly the worst eyeshadow I've tried recently. It creased so quickly. It was ridiculous. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I've heard such good things about it that I'm really like I'm not worried about it though. Um, so yeah. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, bye.